Hi there, it's Chris Hamilton here with Sales Tip A Day, www.salestipaday.com. And I thought what I'd do is I would pass on something that I have been using for quite a while. It's a system called Contashi, which is a uh, client relationship management program or a CRM. And I'll tell you what, this thing is phenomenal from the standpoint it will, it, it's literally, it's doubled my productivity. So basically what it does is it gives me back roughly 160 plus hours each month through a few automated processes that I've put together. So there's a bit of time involved up front, but not very much, it's just minutes. But I'll tell you what, for the $50 I spend a month on this and the time savings I have, the return on my investment is just tremendous. I'm gonna show you really quickly how it works. So you go to contactually.com. I have a link for a 30-day uh, trial down below. And uh, just a caveat on that, it is an affiliate link, so just to, just so you know, so I'm being fully transparent. But long story short is uh, I go to my account, so I sign up here, I go to, or I go to my account after I've signed up, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull up uh, the information that I have on my dashboard. So when I come in, literally what it shows me is it shows, you know, here's kind of some of the things that I have to do today. So at a high level, what, what I love about the system is if you've ever used a CRM, sometimes they're really tough to use. This one's great. What happens is you attach your email addresses into this, you set it up, Contactual will go through, find all these people that you've sent emails to. You can also connect Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, a bunch of different ones like that. And then what it does is it pulls all these people together and says, who is this and what do you do with this person? And you can put them into different buckets. So a bucket is potentially for, you know, if you're in sales or if you're a small business, you, you could have it as, a, you know, someone's a prospect, someone's a client, someone's an A-level person, a B-level person, a C-level person. And then what you do is once you put them into buckets, what you do is you put a time frame for follow-up with these individuals. So for example, when I go into my buckets over here, um, there's certain buckets where, you know, I have reminders every 30 days. I've got other ones where I don't have any. I just kind of bucket these people in here. I can change these time frames. I've got some that are 90 days and when I, you know, not important. I don't, you know, I, no one should take offense to that. It's just that it's not someone I really know or have followed up with before. Um, but there's, you know, basically I build a bucket and then what I do is I put a, uh, a time frame as to how I want to follow up with that person. Now, what happens is, the nice thing is, when you go back to this dashboard here, contactually will remind you saying, hey, you know what, this person is in a certain type of bucket. Uh, last time you spoke with them was this date. It's now time to follow up with them based on your uh, set parameters that you have in place. So it just literally reminds you. And then what you can do is you hit this follow up button and when you hit a follow up button it can bring up a email i can send stuff in gmail or outlook if i want um, the beauty about this is i can take a look and see the running history of uh, what i may have sent uh, in this case sheldon uh, before and the other thing that's neat is you can build emails out and i'll get to that in a second here but you can build email templates out so if i want to send something to um, uh, to someone, you know, long story short is I can um, put a, uh, put something together in here that would be of interest to, uh, to these individuals. So in this case, I've put something together and uh, you know what? I like it. Now, the other thing too is I can click opens, I can click clicks, and also I can click this replies. And I'll click the replies right now. So what happens is if Sheldon doesn't open this after seven days, it'll send me a reminder saying, hey, Sheldon hasn't opened this. I, in this case, I don't really care. But the other thing I might want to do is see, did Sheldon open this? Did he click on this? And then what you do is you go into your dashboard and you can run reports and, and just look at this information and see who's done it. The other thing I can do is I can say, you know, do I want to send it now? Do I want to send it uh, in a certain time frame, in an hour, two hours, so on and so forth? I can specify a date, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, the other thing it'll do is if you create an email like this, you can actually save it as a draft. Now, I'll get into creating emails in a sec, but to show you how easy this is, is, you know what, I put this together, and I'm going to hit send, and there you go. So, it's on its way to uh, Sheldon. So, anyways, what I do is on a daily basis, I can go through, I can snooze people if I want to put it off for a week, 30 days, forever, whatever it is. 
um, and then that's where you go. So now I'm going to show you how I doubled my productivity with Contactually. So when I come to Contactually, I just showed you how to send an email. Up in the upper right hand corner is my account. I'm going to go into settings. Now when I'm in settings, what it does is I can go down the side here. So uh, this is where you connect your email accounts and your, and your social media accounts and anything else that you may have and, uh, and Contactually does all the work. Down here, I've got potential for follow-ups and I've got email templates. I've got ways that I can share articles and a bunch of different things. But the biggest one is I go into email templates. So I've created a whole bunch of email templates that are in here for me to use. And as you can see, as I scroll through, I see you know there's an awful lot of uh, templates that I have here. So um, you know what I want to do is um, I'm going to put in an email. I'm going to show you how to create an email. So I'm going to create a template. So I go up here. I create a template. I label it. I'm going to call this for marketing hacks. And I'm going to put in something like uh, well, I've actually created a template on this. So I'm going to put for marketing hacks so you can start using today. Put it in here. And then what I do is you go in here. And the nice thing is, is I can use people's first names or fallbacks here. So what this does is if you go over side here, you can see there's a whole bunch of different um, fields that you can use. It's pulled out of um, the record on the uh, on the individual that you have. And in this case, it says, hey, first name, or it'll say, hey, there, comma. And then what I do is I'm going to take uh, this information that is in here and I'm going to copy it and it goes right in here and so what I'm gonna do is I just got to clean it up just a bit but I'm doing this just to show you on the fly how some of this stuff works uh, so you can see how quick and easy it is uh, these ones I want to have bullet points on so I'm going to strictly bullet point these and it says hi there or hey there, you may like this webinar replay on four marketing hacks that you can use for your business to grow your business. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put a hyperlink in here. So I've got the information that I need right here. And I use this little link button here. And I put my URL right in there. Now one of the things I can do, I want to make sure that it goes to a, uh, a new window um, when they open it so they don't bounce off the page that they, they came in on. And it says, da 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 it says, here's what you're gonna see or find about all this stuff. And what I've got here is, it says, include my default signature at the bottom. So long story short, I'm gonna just kinda of do a preview here. So once again, you know, it's gonna pull stuff in. So in this case, it uses the name Michael, but it shows you what it is with when you have someone's name or when it's missing. So back up here when I said, hey first name or hey there you get to see it here it's hey Michael or hey there and then I just take a look and see you know does this look good to me you bet I am going to save this and then from here so I've saved an email template now by the way that can be used with anyone at any time if I feel like sending something out so I save a lot of time on emails so once again, when I get into this dashboard and I've got follow-ups to do with people, what I can do is I can actually go in and uh, use that template to follow up with them. But the beauty of the system is once I've created an email template, what I do is I go into programs. And I've got a few diff I got a few different programs here. Um, in this case, I've got one that's like, you know, it's, a, um, uh, it's an existing contact that I haven't kept in touch with. Uh, over a long period of time. So I've got a bunch of steps that I've put in here. And what I'm going to show you is, um, you know, the first thing is when I connect with someone on LinkedIn or I send an email, that information gets brought into the system. If it's someone I haven't really talked to in a long time or I found someone I haven't talked to in a long time, then I can add them to this program. And I'll show you that in a couple of seconds here. Now, what it is, is when I add someone to it, it says first step is wait zero days and send the message using first email template. Then the second one is wait for two days and send the message using boot camp uh, template. And these are all these little email templates that I've created. 
Then what happens is I go into 30 day cycles after that. So it's wait 30 days, 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 so on and so forth with a whole bunch of different um, uh, email templates. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in the upper right hand corner here. I hit edit program. And what it does is I can edit every step if I want. I can move these up and down if I feel like it. But what I really want to do is I'm gonna add a new step here. So I'm gonna add a, the email template that we just created. I'm gonna say wait 30 days and I don't have to restart. So it says restart wait period. If we talk in between, don't worry about that. You can muck around with these programs and find information on how, um, how to use it, but this is the simplest form. So I wait 30 days after this one's being sent and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send an email. Now once again, I want to Unclick this if I want to automate it, but if I click that, what happens is uh, after this message is sent, 30 days goes by, and then on my dashboard, it's going to go, hey, this is step number 13 that you have to send to this person. Um, you know, do, do you want to do it? You just have to click yes. But this is the easiest way, um, is you just set these things up as a automated uh, template. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the... Uh, template I just made which is for marketing hacks and if I want to send it out a specific time to make sure that they see it during the day I'll do that so in this case I'm actually going to make it 9 a.m. and it'll default to when that person I believe when that person's time zone is but it, it may just be default on your thing but anyways long story short you can sit at that point in time so I'm gonna say you know what let's do that let's um, let's set it for 9 a.m. and so long story short, you can also click on here and it tells you a little bit of information about each of these steps and what it is. But here's what I've done. So I've created the 13th step, which I wait 30 days after I've sent this email template. I send an email and it's the four marketing hacks. And then what I can do is save. Now, just to give you an idea of some of the different steps you can do, uh, you can remind me to follow up. I can add to a bucket. I can remove from a bucket. I can add follow on. I can sync to different buckets. I can do a certain task if I want. I can move them to a different program if I want. And if you go to Contashly's website, they'll actually show you multiple or different ways that you can leverage these programs. Or even if you just reach out to the, the people at Contashly, they'll show you how to use it. But long story short, it's like an, a marketing automation process in a CRM system. And uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. So what I'm gonna do is I hit save here and that template is now in place and what I do is I say I am done editing so then what I do is let's just say um, for example I can go to my dashboards here so what happens I've created an email I've added it to a program or I've created a program I've added it to the program and then I have different people down the left hand side here that I have you know recent contacts that uh, that I've um, I've uh, been in, in touch with but for example what I'm going to do is I am going to use um, let's see here find a person let's use my buddy Don Kelly so Don and I are connected on um, uh, LinkedIn but uh, Don and I also I've also got Don's email address here now with Don I haven't done a heck of a lot of following up with him over a long period of time, but what I do want to do is, you know what I'm saying, you know what, maybe I want to talk to Don every once in a while, so why don't I send something out to him? So the program that I used up here that I've created is also listed on um, Contactually. So then what you do is the program I was using was existing contacts I haven't kept in touch with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Don to that. I hit save. And then now he's part of this program. Now, let's just say at some point in time you want to pull him out of the program, you just go back to the file or his, his contract record here, and I hit X and it'll take him out of that process. But now let's just go back to the dashboard and he should be kind of close to the top here. There we go. So um, what I see is it says approve step one. So one of the things that I've done is when I've added someone in this program, I say make sure that we approve at least the first step so I know they're in it, so it's working. So in this case, I go approve first step and then I go approve. And now, guess what? So it pulls up this email for the first time. I get to see, does it make sense? Da 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 da. Yep, you bet. Let's send, right? 
So now what's going to happen is I know the second step in this is two days later, it's going to send an auto, automatic email on the sequence that I have and then every 30 days after that. So now what I've just shown you is a how to, how to create an email, different emails and templates, how to add them to programs and build a program out. And then on top of it is how do I add a person to a program so it follows up. So long story short is, you know, Don's in this process and I'll kind of have a email going out to him once a month for the next literally um, 13 months. And every month I kind of add a new, um, a new, a new email on. So it keeps going, it keeps, you know, constantly going. And the one thing is that I look at is um, you stay top of mind with an individual. And secondly, uh, you save a ton of time. And I'm going to show you kind of exactly how much time I've saved using this. So here's how I come up with my calculations on how I saved four weeks each month or gain four weeks a month each, uh, each month by leveraging contactually. So in the case where I have uh, sent information out where I've automated a bunch of different things. I've actually, you know, I have, uh, um, this was um, in, I believe, April 2015. Uh, I contacted 1,920 people. So I followed up with that many people. Let's just say, you know, for me to write an email or send an email or copy, paste, do whatever, um, you know, it's going to take me about five minutes per email. So if you take the, the, the 1920 and five minutes per email, basically it works out to 160 hours or four weeks of time. Now, what I'm not taking into account here is the fact that um, that you are actually, you know, you're going to have rest times in between. You're going to go grab a coffee. You got bio breaks. You got a whole bunch of different things. I'm just taking into account straight time. So in fact, what I look at is this is probably even more than four weeks a month in, in productivities that I've gained. And you know what? So, you know, long story short, I spend $49 a month and it gives me an additional 160 plus hours of my time because I'm not even taking into account some of the other follow-ups and other processes that I have going on in contactually. So, you know, long story short, basically it's a great little program inexpensive. It's going to give you back a bunch of time on your plate. Easiest thing you can do is create some email templates that you can follow up with individuals, create a program uh, designed specifically around um, people that you are uh, engaged with, um, and then uh, you know add the people to that program. And that's how you save so much time. If you need help with it, let me know. Reach out to me, chris at salestipaday.com. I have a free link below that gives you a 30-day trial of this, so I would highly recommend give it a Give it a shot and see how it can help you. And uh, best of luck with that.